Welcome to our first ever interview on Tech Pods. Today, you're in for a treat as we have a very special guest joining us, my good friend and tech whiz, Idea Vanicha. Hi, Zarin. Hi, Michael. How are you guys going? Yeah, good. Thank you. Very excited to have you on our channel today. Um, and thanks for joining us. I'm very keen to be doing this as well. Awesome. Yeah, why don't you start off by, you know, introducing yourself to our channel, um, a little bit about what you do currently um, and your experience as well. Yep, for sure. Um, so my name is Idea and I am currently a fourth year student studying Bachelor of Advanced Computing, majoring in com Computational Data Science and Cybersecurity at UCID. Um, I also work part time as a software engineer and I just recently finished my internship with Canva and I spend a lot of my, apart from my like techie side or just like my work side, I spend a lot of, a lot of my free time working on like, you know, front end projects and um, I like to go, I like walking, I love walking, walking is fun, I love dancing, um, I love basketball, swimming and just doing like random stuff on the weekends and catching up with friends. So that's me. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm joined today by Michael. Do you want to give a brief intro to our audience today? Absolutely. Um, hi everyone. My name is Michael. You've probably seen me in the other videos. I'm a product manager working in tech as well. And similar to ideas that it, um, I guess, software engineering. So coming from that technical background. Awesome. Thanks, Michael. And I'm Soren. I'm a partner development manager at Microsoft and super excited to be hosting my good friend Idea alongside Michael. So Idea, why don't we start with Pouch Loyalty today? How did this come about and where do you see this project heading? Yeah, so just a little background in Pouch. So Pouch is a React native mobile application that I coded back when I was in second year of university. So your question is, how did it come about? So it kind of all started when I was um, 19 and I went to like one of my favorite restaurants in Newtown. Um, so when I was like about to pay for my food, I came, the, sorry, the owner of the restaurant asked me like, do you have your loyalty card with you? And then I was like going through my wallet and I couldn't find it. So I told straight up told them like, oh no, I'm sorry, I forgot to bring it. But then I was like, jokingly, I asked them like, would you ever consider, you know, having these paper card or like stored digitally as like a mobile application or something along that line. And I was actually kind of surprised that they actually said like, yeah, we do. So then me being me, like actually not really knowing what I'm doing, but I know that like, I wanted to make something. You know, I just told them like, hey, like, you know, I study computer science. If you ever need someone to code something for you, like feel free to reach out. And like, I was actually surprised that the owners were actually like really keen. They took my numbers down, but no, they like, they did not give me a call back. But then after leaving that restaurant, I like something came to mind and I was like, hey, I can actually like, you know, turn this into like an actual tangible product if I give it a try. So then I spent the next seven months kind of like learning everything from scratch on how to like make mobile applications and stuff. And then um, at the start early of 2022, so last year, like in January, I finished my MVP and then I launched the app on App Store and Google Play Store in March. And now we have about seven cafes using Pouch. Nice. Yeah. Oh, and wow. to answer the second part of your question of where I'm seeing Pouch going, Pouch kind of started more like a personal project of just like coding. And then I just want to take my ideas further and then have like actual users using it so that I can get feedback and make the product better. So as of now, where I see Pouch going in the future is that now I'm working in a team of four. So my team and I were consistently coming up with like new features, ideas and things like that. And um, I think our vision for this year is that we want to make loyalty available for everyone and not just caf local cafes and restaurants because we feel we feel like this platform has the potential to reach a wider range of like market and we don't want to limit ourselves to just like um food industry if that makes sense mm, mm. yeah that's very interesting is that new town restaurant part of your list of restaurants that you support now idea yes so if you guys are interested um feel free to check out miyama they make amazing food and if you're interested in japanese food you know that's another reason to go join them I love the story and I feel like we can quickly turn this conversation into a shark tank, but like, how do you compete with loyalty programs out 20. there? Do you have a business plan? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. 
So I do, just thinking about that, that's a lot to be working on at the age of 19 and sounds like a super interesting project. What were some of the um, challenges that you faced along the way? Yeah. So I would answer that question in two like main buckets, right? So the first challenge that I faced was just like lack of experience, lack of like technical skills and knowledge because um it was because I pretty much like didn't really know what I was doing. I was just like, you know, like two years into like coding and it was mainly just like university style coding. So, but then I just feel like I didn't really have a lot of people to like reach out to or ask for advice on like what's the best way to go about implementing the solution. But then, so then I just started watching a lot of like YouTube videos, um, reading a lot of books and then um, just like watching a lot of tutorials and following them. And that was really helpful. Um, and then the second biggest challenge is just um, keeping myself motivated throughout the whole journey and not just myself, but then like me and the team, because throughout making pouch there um i would be working with like a couple of people but then life gets in the way and people are busy right like and people have different priorities so sometimes your team members might decide to like um drop out but not because they don't believe in the product but it's just because that other people have different priorities in life but then to me sometimes i just feel like i just felt a bit like lonely that i'm like oh no i'm back alone again but then i can totally understand where people are coming from as well so it's just like balancing trying to get through like the challenge of like upskilling myself technically while and also trying to like what do you call like be, being like okay with people chopping on and off the project no that resonates with me so much like the journey of entrepreneurship is somewhat lonely at times but i think there were a couple of nuggets of you know insight that you shared i think firstly you know you mentioned that there are many things that you learned during this process, um, building from a base of zero and being, you know, a first or second year university student. I'm sure that that, you know, gave you exposure into what you enjoyed and what you didn't enjoy, um, as well as, you know, the resilience that you need to continue refining and, yeah, building pouch into uh, what it is today, supporting seven restaurants and also, you know, growing and, and entering into different markets and industries as well. Yeah. I guess. Staying on that topic, for students aspiring to embark on their startup venture, um, someone that has an idea that they want to, you mm -hmm. know, create, what is a piece of advice that you would share with them, you know, looking back at 19-year-old idea um, and reflecting yeah. on couch loyalty today? Mm. I feel like one of the biggest key takeaway or advice I would give to people is that, for me, I kind of started this project as more like an engineer, like, Point of view if that makes sense like i didn't really start the project thinking like oh it's going to be like the next big business or startup and now it is still not like the next big business or something right um so basically my advice is like if you have an idea and you really want to try building something just take the chance take the risk and then just do it like don't procrastinate on something that you want to do because i feel like sometimes we always find excuses not to do things right so um, if you have an idea that you want to try implement, just go ahead and do it. And sometimes it can feel really overwhelming when you look at, you know, like really successful big businesses and then you wonder like, why is my product going nowhere? But then a lot of times people measure the success by like, you know, like these huge, like quantifiable, like impact and stuff. But I feel like just going in and building like a software or something, you learn like so much, you know? Even if you don't end up making like the next big startup or something, but the journey along the way teaches you so much, like resilience, how to work with other people, how to stay motivated, how to be proactive, you know, where do I, how do I go and ask the questions? And I feel like these skills are so valuable and so worth like, you know, taking like, the, like basically spending your time acquiring these skills. And just like how, like, would you guys resonate with me in a way where I feel like tech pod might have been something that you guys have always wanted to start as well. No, absolutely. I think for me personally, I've tried a few things and with any idea, sometimes it develops into something or sometimes it might fizzle out and it might just not be the right idea as well at the right, at the right time. Um, but I think tech pods is something that Michael and I are super passionate about. Um, we do see this becoming a community, um, and something that we can also help our younger selves in the form of, you know, university students and early career professionals that are alongside us now. But 
in terms of house loyalty though idea yeah. that's super exciting um and if we're living in sydney um how can we support house loyalty um so right now <clears throat> i have like a japanese restaurant miyama and um a cafe next door called 12 cafe using pouch actively and the other partners aren't using it as actively so the best way to support pouch would be you know if you pop, pop by and then you you know come to these two restaurants you can totally check out our website um and you can you know ask them like hey can i download the application and use the application or if you know like a cafe or restaurant who might be interested i am more than happy for you to like reach out to me or the team to tell us about um a business who might be interested in implementing pouch and we are more than happy to onboard them as our partners no, that sounds super exciting and we'll definitely do that i'll leave a link down below in our video bio thank you i just want to add here that id is pretty much just an inspiration for all the software engineering students out there because reflecting on my experience of you know studying software engineering and not really knowing what to like or what next project to work on i think mm. what you've done is really incredible um like it's mm. absolutely crazy and blows my mind um that you actually have you know customers working with other businesses and trying to grow <clears throat> as a business so it's pretty awesome i feel like um one thing i want to add to that as well is that i feel like sometimes as a student we're too scared to like do stuff right but i feel like being able to have something that you created from scratch of your own is probably one of the most like rewarding experience for me as a student who studies software engineering, right? Because you were able to build something from scratch and then that product that becomes more than a software. It becomes something that you are, like I am definitely pretty attached to my product and I feel like it's like my baby. And I really want to encourage like software engineering students to, you know, give it a go and build something um, because it is very re rewarding to see something being built from scratch and like launching it onto the app store and the google play store also sounds a lot like a job of a product manager so if you ever want to you know <laughs> check jobs a little bit <laughs> my, my call cool insert his referral code <laughs> <laughs> find it in the link down below um <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, shifting the gears a little bit. So earlier, I did, you mentioned that you've done an internship at Canva. Yeah. So I guess my question here is, what did uh, like draw your attention to Canva and specifically doing software engineering? So the reason why I really wanted to apply to Canva and I um, and Canva was definitely something a company I really want to work for was because I've always used Canva product like growing up. Like I've used Canva since Canva like started, I would say. And I was, and I really loved the product. That was like the first reason why I wanted to join Canva. And then upon further like research and reading more about the company, I love that the company values like something that goes beyond just, you know, like making a product. Like they're collaborating with so many NGOs. Um, Canva values of like being a good human really like resonate with me, right? Like, and I just really love like the company's like culture, just like hearing from about it before I, even before I joined about how nice and lovely and wholesome the people are, the company culture, like everything was just very like, sounded very good. And I feel like that's the reason why I was really like attracted to Canva in the first place. Did you get to meet the founders? Um, like, like they'll be doing the, um, meetings and they'll run meetings and they'll walk past me, but that's like amazing <laughs> when in turn <laughs> i did not get to talk yeah. to them my, my friend did um no. so yeah awesome and you talked about you know the culture being pretty awesome what aspects of culture did you really um like the most like what it stood out to you yeah i <clears throat> i love that um so we refer to ourselves as like caminots right i love that the caminots are very like like they're very nice and encouraging like they want everyone to succeed or everyone in the team wants each other to succeed and they're always willing to like help i can go up to anyone and ask any questions from any team and people are so willing to help um and i feel like they um canva also really values like work-life balance where say if you have like a day where you're feeling a little bit down you can kind of tell like your manager like oh i'm feeling kind of sad today and they'll be like oh yeah totally fine you can take the day off 
because the company or the people in Canva, they really trust, like they have a lot of trust in you. And people in Canva also really respect you. Even joining as an intern, I didn't feel like I was like, you know, inferior to anyone just because I'm an intern, because everyone in the company really respect you. They think they, they know that you know what you're doing and they're there to like make you better. Um, cool. And I guess just taking a little step back, when you are applying uh, for a job at Canva, what kind of things do you think help you to kind of stood out and succeed in the interview process? Yeah. So um, I applied as a front-end engineer. So I just did a lot of like readings into the theory behind like web dev sort of things, like, you know, um, just like the theory stuff and not because a lot of the stuff, the jobs I do, I implement code, right? So I actually don't really really understand like how the browser actually works or what does asynchronous function do or what it means. So I did a lot of readings into the theory. And then on top of that, I also did a lot of like little drills, if that makes sense. Like I practiced making like a clock, um, a calculator, like, like, you know, like tiny things you can make in a short, shorter period of time. So I did a lot of that. And I also feel like just coding on my own personal project throughout the year really helped me prepare for the interview. For sure. No, that sounds pretty cool. And what kind of project did they get you to work on? Was it a bit of a mixture of back hand and front hand or? Yeah. So while at Canva, I was a front end engineering intern. So my work was mainly focused on front end. And I was very lucky that I got to work on the project. So so is it's like a little um, cursor that Canva has. So Canva has like a blue dot cursor. So I was working or experimenting with like ways maybe we can change colors, add some animated trail to the cursor. And when I first like joined or started working on the project, I thought, oh, this is like a really cool project. You know, it's like a nice feature to have, but it's not like something that will make like the business profitable or anything along that line. However, after like attending user testing and then just like doing more work with Canva, I came to realize that it's like these tiny details in the product or like the little, um, UI stuff that makes something like magical and makes a product different from their competitors. It was something that really like, that was like something I was working on and I had a lot of fun working on it. Nice, yeah, and I feel like Canva has a lot of pretty cool little things that you can do, like the design yeah. and all that stuff, so there's cool, cool yeah. things there. Um, and I guess just to finish up this um, section, um, if you were to describe your internship experience at Canva only using emojis, which ones would you pick? You can pick as many as you like. Um, okay, that's a bit hard because I would, because it was like, I would have to use a lot of emojis. But if I have to pick a couple, I think I would definitely have the rainbow emoji. Um, <laughs> you know, like the smiley face emoji with like stars on top? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Definitely an astronaut one because we think we're camera not. You know, um, and and like a little like teary one at the end because it was so nice and it was kind of sad too that the internship ended. Um, did, you, did you have one of those like half crying, half laughing emojis as well? Oh yeah, I would totally add that in a hundred percent. Kind of like yeah, it's like me laughing at my code. Nothing works, you know. <laughs> me being stuck, or like my host laughing at me, not knowing what I'm doing. But yeah, I would actually use the Slack animated emoji. I highly recommend that. That's a vibe. If you know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> you know, you know. Thanks, Idea. That's a very good summary of your time at Canva. Um, I think the three big takeaways from me um, from the video were that it's extremely rewarding creating something from scratch, such as pouch loyalty. Um, and, you know, being a student and going through university is super important to be open-minded, to try new things. Um, and last but not least, um, taking on as many new opportunities as you can in the form of internships, which you have done at Canva. So thank you so much for joining our podcast today. Um, and I might hand it over to you to do the sign-off. Oh, good. Well, thank you so much for having me here today, Darren and Michael. Um, I hope that, you know, I got to share my experience 
And I hope everybody likes and subscribes to Tech Pods because, because I think the content that you guys are making is awesome. I think we should exit with the blob. I think we should exit with the blob, guys. With the blob, like this. Or the blob. I don't know which way it is. I feel like we're doing it in different ways. Also, I don't think it's just the head, you know? It's like the whole, like, body. <laughs> Do we include this in the video? All right. So we we should. At the end. Come on, guys. There you go. Yeah, in the blue. <laughs> Oh my God. Also, also at like very beginning, okay, it's like a stretch, you know, you got to stretch your muscles before you go.